Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah and today we are doing my go-to affordable catfishing Lee Easy makeup tutorial. I'm gonna show you guys how to go from this to this. And everything that I'm using is affordable. It is drugstore. It's stuff that you guys can find, hopefully online. There's two products that are a little bit older, but they are easily switched out for other products. And I will try to find dupes somewhere. I am going to try to get a video out once a week. So I want to talk about beauty. I want to talk about fashion. I recently just like revamped my whole closet with Amazon. So if you guys want to see some of my favorite Amazon products, I will go ahead and record a video. Please just let me know. Let's get into this catfishing tutorial. If you guys like it, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up. I'm so sorry I'm rambling. Comment down below what you guys want to see next and I will see you guys in just a moment. So today we are using the matte and poreless fit me from Maybelline. I am in shade 220 and I really really like this foundation in general just because you can just let this dry down all the way but I feel like this is the type of matte that's more of like a satiny finish versus like matte where you look like you've just had the life sucked out of you. I'm gonna take this just a little bit down. I'm also not taking this like too close to my eye because we are gonna go in with concealer. So the concealer that we are going in today with is the Milani. This is the Conceal and Perfect long wear concealer and I am in shade 115 light nude. So I do mix concealers. When I do conceal my under eye, I like to take this light one and do that like contour where you have that harsh line that goes up, but I don't like to take this all the way down just because I kind of have a wider face to begin with. I feel like if I push this out too much, it almost widens my face more. So I only like to widen it right here just a little bit. Then it kind of shrinks my jawline without flattening my face. That's just what I prefer. So I'll take this one and this concealer dries down so quick. So don't put this all over your face if you are not ready to like go quick. If you want to take your time, I just do one eye at a time, do a dot here, tip of my nose, and then on my chin just to kind of pull my chin forward. I'm just lightly dabbing this and I want to keep it in a straight line like that. Now this is the Real Techniques. This is like their diamond sponge. So at first when I bought these, the only reason I bought them was because they were cheap. I'm just gonna say it. I actually really like them for around my eye because I do get that like nice harsh line. And this concealer is literally already dry. You gotta move quick with this one. And it's so pigmented that it almost does kind of come down but I don't I don't want to pull it down too much because like I said, I am going to go in with a darker one just to kind of keep it so it's not so like, do you see how it like almost flattens and like widens my face? I don't want that. I want like a really pulled forward look. Do the same thing on the other eye quick. This concealer is also very matte. If you look closely, I will zoom you in now that I have a zoom lens. You will see that... My under eye is creasing just slightly. That is okay. We are okay with that. That is not a big deal because we are going to go with a little bit of eyeshadow. So I am fine with having a little bit of creasing because when I actually put in my eyeshadow, it will help set it. So if it's creasing, don't you worry, boo. We will fix it. Now... It's time for my second concealer. So this is the Fit Me in shade 20. This is Sand Beige. I like to take this and just apply it right here. And that's going to just bring a little bit more of that deepness back into my face. I'm just going to pull this like right where like my bags would start. And I'm not going to pull it up any further because I still want to have that harsh line next to my nose. It's almost like I'm putting it right where my blush would be. And I'm not pulling it out. I'm literally just focusing it right here because I don't want to get rid of that light line at all. But other than that, I feel like I look already so much better. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but I don't really like... I don't really waste my time trying to cover up acne because... Honestly, it's a freaking pimple. Everybody has pimples. Like, it's not a big deal. So, if you're like, girl, why didn't you cover up that zit? Because it's it's my business, and I don't feel like it. So, that's what it is. Next, I am going to go in with a fan brush. And then, again, this is the Milani um, Baked Bronzer in Soul. I went through a very unhealthy phase of using this bronzer to freaking death. And here I am again. 
using it to death. So with this bronzer, I'm going to take this and I'm not going to bring it up. I'm literally just going to go and you can see where the hollows in my cheeks are. I'm going to lightly, I want to keep it narrow here and just kind of lightly widen it. So narrow, widen. So I'm going to start in the same spot and go up and then kind of go vertical. And I want to keep doing that because it's going to give the illusion that, you know, you have a snatched face. But also, I just literally snotted. Disgusting. And it's okay if you blend this out a little bit, but don't blend it past that line because you want that natural line there. Same thing on the next side. It's like you see all these girls doing that TikTok thing, you know, where you like snatch your face back, which is like fine, but like you're going to... You're gonna stretch out your skin over time and that's just like, that's not cute. Why would I do that when I could literally just create the optical illusion that my face already does that, you know? Like, less wrinkles, people. Like, it may sound like a good idea now, but if you're doing that every day for like five years, you're gonna have problems. So same thing, I'm gonna contour, but I'm not gonna go past that line. What am I saying contour? I'm not contouring, I'm just bronzing. Most of the time with my chin, all I'm really working on is this part here. Because again, I don't want to contour too much here. Also, I hope you guys don't mind that this is going to be like a really in-depth tutorial. I don't know. It just feels right, you know? Anyways, I just like to kind of focus most of my attention up on my chin. Again, I want to create it so it looks like my chin is forward. We are lessening this, pulling everything forward. Also, I got a big-ass forehead, so we go contour that down too. And then as far as the nose goes, I'm not going to touch that quite yet or underneath my lip. So if it looks a little bit like really too like contrasting, it's fine because we are going to pull more of the warmth forward. I also don't have any eyebrows, so we're going to ignore that. But that is it for right now as far as the contour goes. I'm going to take a fluffy brush. This is the Jeffree Star X Morphe brush. This is the JS5. It's just like a fluffy shadow brush and it's dirty because I use it every day for this look. I'm gonna dip back into my contour shade and then I am going to zoom you guys in because now I can do that. Oh my God, it's so exciting. Okay, this is what we are gonna do. We are gonna focus on my face. There we go. Focus on my face. Focus on my face. Focus on my face. So we are gonna take this brush and then I am going to take it right where the bridge of my nose is. You see that? Oh yeah. We are going to deepen that part of our nose. And then I'm just going to lightly drag that bad boy down. There you go. You see that? Okay. You can already tell the difference between this side and this side. And it's so much brighter. But it also is pulling that color. Don't worry. We will blend it out. So if it looks a little crazy that way, don't you worry. And then I am going to pull it down right here goes up bring it down then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the side of the brush and I am going to literally go right along that white line I also feel like don't judge me I'm gonna take my brush and just flatten it with my finger like a so and I'm just gonna take it like that See how you have that line now? And I'm just gonna buff that up and meet up with this. Same thing on the other eye. And I like to use the bridge of my nose as a reference. Also, don't mind that my eyebrows literally look insane. During quarantine, I literally shaved them like all the way off. And now I'm trying to grow them back because I have to go back to work and I can't wear makeup at work. So no eyebrows, no makeup, looks a little crazy. So I'm going to really deepen the bottom of my nose. Now that we have this on, because this bronzer does have some shimmer to it, as you can see, I don't want to take this underneath my eye because the shimmer is just going to, it's going to make that like creasing that you already see so much more prevalent. I mean, relevant. I mean, what's the word I'm looking for? You know what I'm saying. So I'm going to go with the bronze. That's, that's matte, which is going to be the NYX, why are you not focusing, which is going to be the NYX bronzer. This is in shade light. Take the same brush, so it's still going to have a little bit of shimmer on it, but shouldn't be as much. Also, there's a lot of dust flying around. Anyways, I'm going to take that, go underneath my eye, and then I'm going to meet up with the side of my eye. Now, could you easily do your eye first and then do the line? But I like to do my face first because to me skin is more important than an eye. I run out of time doing my eye makeup 
it's fine. I'll just throw on some lashes and like go. But my skin, that girl needs to be covered. So we ain't gonna waste our time with an eye if I can just do my face. You know? Do you guys like to do your eyes first or your foundation? Like what's more important to you? I mean, I give so much credit to the girls that can do their eyes and like not have any makeup on their skin, but I am not one of them. So this same brush and just lightly contour above my lip or <laughs> above my lip. It's not gonna be too much, but it's gonna be enough just to kind of give you that illusion. Basically, that is it for the eye. My wing, I love to use this is the Mirabella Magic Marker. I got this in an Ipsy bag like a freaking long ass time ago. So we're gonna take it and literally go from I'm gonna zoom me back in. What am I doing? Guys, I am gonna go all the way. From my inner corner back out and I got a big eye booger also we're gonna touch this up in a little bit so don't worry about that I'm gonna pull it all the way across my eye now if you wanted to throw a like a white eyeshadow on your eye by all means do it but I want to keep this more of like a natural summery catfishing natural look I am NOT gonna follow this line why cuz I don't feel like it also my camera battery is uh, flashing at me so I'm gonna pull this all the way out we're gonna make it big because we can. And then I'm gonna pull it all the way in. Yeah, she's large and in charge, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead, my camera battery is literally flashing at me. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put my lashes on as well as some eyebrows, and then we will move on to the lip, the blush, and the freckles in just like maybe a little bit. So I can let my camera battery charge. Okay, I will be right back in like 20 minutes, but like two seconds for you. Okay, so. I know that a lot looks like it's changed, but literally all I have done is put lashes, brows, and a wing. Like, that's literally all I've done, and it's already made such a big difference from where I started to where I am now. So, today I'm going in-depth. Like, usually I can just bang out this makeup look in like 10 minutes, and it's perfect. It looks good. It looks like I took my time when I did it. The only thing that I am having troubles with is A, my nose may look a little bit like crusty, but I wear an N95 mask at work. I work at a dental office. So for me, it's just my skin. Like, I just, there's no way around it. So if it looks patchy, my nose area, that is why. Other than that, like, can we take a minute to go through quickly what products I used while I was off of camera as I literally drop everything that I own. For my brows, I use the e.l.f. This is their clear brow gel and like clear mascara duo. This is two dollars at Ulta and it's like the best brow gel. Like it is so nice. Sometimes I use it on like my baby hairs but 9 out of 10 would recommend this. The second one is the e.l.f. This is the and it's literally covered in dog hair. <laughs> Excuse me. This is the e.l.f. This is the instant lift brow pencil and I use shade I think this is like medium brown I will leave it linked down below but this is also two dollars again 10 out of 10 would recommend that the mascara that I'm using is the voluminous lash paradise and if we haven't had this conversation this is literally one of the best mascaras on the market and I think it retails for ten dollars and then I am wearing the I think these are the Ardell like natural lashes I will again leave them linked down below but again like, can we take a minute and talk about how fucking beautiful this makeup look is? Or am I just like crazy? But like, seriously. Also, a little tip of the day, okay? I love shaving off my eyebrows because my arches and my eyebrows are at two different levels unless I have Botox, which right now my Botox and my forehead and my brow lift are like wearing off, which I'm getting soon, but shh, don't tell my boyfriend. Anyways, so I feel like when I shave off half my brow, I'm able to compensate on both. My piece of advice is stop doing your brows this close. Stop having a hand mirror in your face. Go up to a big ass mirror. I have literally a full body mirror right here. Go up to your full body mirror and use it. Look at yourself from far away. Even if my eyebrows maybe aren't like the most perfect right now, I will literally do them this close to my face and all of a sudden I'm like, oh my god, my eyebrows aren't even like remotely close to being the same shape because I need to stop looking in a small mirror. I need to Back it up, take a peek, look at myself from far away, because sometimes they'll do it in, like, the mirror. You know, if that's all you have, that's all you have. But then also you go to the bathroom and you're like, oh my god, one eyebrow is, like, up here and the other one's here, or one's, like, this thick and the other one's thin. Stop doing it. Go to a big mirror, do it in general first, and then go from there. Please let me know. Actually, don't even let me know. I'm just going to do it anyways. I will give you guys an in-depth tutorial on how I do my brows. There are very few things that I'm good at, but brows... 
browser it for me. I'm the brow queen. Maybe not now because they're growing out and I, again, have to wear a mask at work and a respirator and stuff, so I can't wear makeup. So I'm growing them back, but like, I am good at brows. Like, if you guys saw my brows before in this video, you'll know. Moving on. I don't know where my mirror went. <sighs> Anyways, I use, this is the Ico Fat Brow. Yes, it is a brow pencil, but it's actually a brow marker. And this is in shade light to medium. This thing has lasted me for an eternity. Again, it's probably expired by now, but I don't even care. This is literally the best way to do faux freckles. And I'm just gonna start dotting it. We're gonna put blush over it in just a little bit. And it dries down quick and it lasts forever. And guess what? Even if it fades a little bit, it fades a little bit. Who cares? Sometimes I don't even look in the mirror when I do this. Freckles are natural. They don't need to be perfect. My sister has freckles. She tries to cover them up every day. I'm like, girl, please give me some of your freckles. But like, let me zoom in so I'm not like washed out with the ring light. But, like look how freaking cute that looks. You do what you like, but I am gonna continue doing this for the rest of whenever this trend dies. And then again, if you're not a big blush person, then don't do any then don't do anything else from here. But we're gonna go in with blush because I love blush. Maybe one day I'll show you guys my blush collection. Blush is like where it's at. Also, I've noticed and I have learned that when it comes to freckles, stop before the tip of your nose. Don't do freckles down here does look a little strange. We're gonna close her, we're gonna put her down before I do too many. Also, can we take a moment to talk about how I literally have no powder on my face besides eyeshadow and bronzer? Just saying. So my blush, again, I don't know, I, I love Milani face products, and I love that they have a little bit of shimmer in the winter. I don't like using this because I don't like shimmer on my face in the winter, but in the summer, like a good glow. I'm just gonna say it. I'm gonna say it, and everybody's gonna hate me for it, but I am over highlighter. I said it, and I don't regret what I said. I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush. I'm gonna start right above where my bronzer is, and I'm just gonna go in a light little circle, little apples in my cheeks, and you can just see that just warms up my face a little bit. I'm not gonna pull it any lower than where like my apples are. I wanna keep this high because it's gonna lift your face, but then I'm gonna literally take it, I'm gonna just swipe her. A little bit of warmth to my nose, and if you get a little bit out of hand with your blush, which like how, how? I feel like blush, Blush is one of those things that you could go a little ham with because it does tend to like fade a little bit quicker, at least on my skin it does. So going in a little heavy handed at first is nice because it's gonna, you know, fade over time. But it also gives a good glow to my skin. I mean, I feel like such a traitor because I love highlighter on certain people. And also, I feel like I have had a booger in my nose the entire time. Oh my god, that is so embarrassing. It's not like, it just isn't flattering where I would rather have like an all over glow and look more natural and like look like I'm, you know, drinking water when I'm not, when I'm not, than to like have this face full of like, you know, like a chunk of highlighter that just looks like it just, uh, my skin doesn't work, but if you have like flawless, perfect skin and you girl, you can pull off highlighter. Okay, well, false alarm. <laughs> Some things blew over, my windows are open. Anyways, if you are a girl that can pull off highlighter, more power to you. I'm not one of those girls. Also, if I'm closer to the camera, it's because my dog has decided that she's gonna sit right on my chair and not move, so. We're just gonna let her do her thing. Now is the time where I am gonna touch up my under eye where like, where it's a little crust city. I went in wild three in one. This is their primer water. You can also use it as like a set and a refresh, but I like this to set. I'm gonna take that edge of the diamond and I'm just gonna lightly press and just add a little bit of moisture. I do like to focus a little bit. And then I also like to take, maybe if there's a little bit extra left, just go down the tip of my nose just to kind of bring out that lightness again and kind of naturally highlight it with like shades versus like an actual highlighter. For lip, I am gonna go in with, this is, brand is this? Maybelline, this is 920 Nude Lust. This is the best nude lipstick. So, how I discovered this nude lipstick right here. I went to the drugstore, okay? After the whole lipstick again thing happened with Jaclyn Hill, ma'am, I need you to not lick your paw right now, okay? So I literally, I'm not even kidding. Imagine me at the drugstore, have the Jaclyn Hill lipstick in one hand, 
nude lipsticks and other and I'm literally putting them side by side and figuring out which lipstick matched the one nude lipstick from Jaclyn Hill that I love. It's a little bit of nude, it's a little bit of pink, it's a little bit of orange, like it's the perfect nude. And girl, when I tell you, this is literally my perfect nude. Oh my god, I love this. And then, oh my god, I need to get my life together. Where is it? NYX. This is Everything Lip Oil, and this is in shade Sheer Blush. So it does have a little bit of a pinkness to it. I don't know, it's just perfect. And it's like, it's a lightweight gloss, but it's also like glossy gloss. It just adds a little bit extra. But I like taking gloss outside the lines. So I feel like it just highlights that like, and like the cupid's bow just a little bit more than like a highlighter does. See, this is what we're doing. We're coming up with ways to look freaking just snatched with less makeup. I mean, am I right or am I right? But this is how I do my look. So, I think that's it. I literally think that we are done. Like, everything was drugstore. The only thing that wasn't drugstore that I used was, I think, the Mirabella. I'm not quite sure how much that cost, but everything else is drugstore. And again, I will leave everything listed down below. So if you guys enjoyed this makeup look, please give this video a like, comment down below. But now that I have my new camera and everything, like, I want to get back in the swing of things. I, I feel like I was so defeated before. We're going to do this because this is the type of stuff that makes me so freaking happy. Also, I will leave this listed down below. This is a purse that I got on Amazon. It's like a little, like, um... It's like a little acrylic purse, I think for the summer. Also like cherries are super like my thing right now and my aesthetic, but it's like a little acrylic purse. It's so cute for the summer. I love this. The sign I will list, I'll also leave that listed. The earrings I will hopefully be able to list down below. I got these at Forever 21. And then my t-shirt, again, I got at Forever 21. It's basically like the only place that I shop. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.